Today I'm gonna do a little something wacky. No. Um, some people on Reddit uh, saw a Christmas gift I made and said they'd like to see how they're made. So um, I'm just gonna throw some like uh, little clay pipes off of the hump here. Um, this is what they look like. I don't know, just a you know pretty standard spoon shape. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna throw a couple of these and kind of go over uh, throwing off the hump in general. But you know, why we're gonna do these off the hump? So throwing off the hump for me anyway is if you've got something that um, takes just a small amount of clay, something like this, that uh, would be a waste of time and energy to try to center on its own. Like if you just measured out a half pound of clay or however much you're going to use, um, it would be kind of a pain in the butt to center and then it would waste a lot of time so um, first throwing smaller stuff I like to throw off the hump so basically what I do is I just kind of center a big mound of clay like this and pay close attention to the top here this is where the centering needs to be good so you just grab a little ball of clay like this off the top of your mound and open it. And like if you've ever done any um, teapot uh, spouts, uh, you know, something like this, um, it's basically the same general shape. So kind of keep that in mind if you've done teapots before. But just kind of open it up here into like a bowl and then uh, pull a cylinder and you want the inside to be nice and round at the bottom so spend some time getting that nice and round and then yeah you just um, Belly out the bottom like for a teapot spout. And you want to make sure it's nice and thin down there because uh, basically what you do when you throw these is afterwards. Um, you're gonna um, push the bulb in um, for the little bowl area. And uh, when you do that, if it's thick, you're gonna have kind of not just a heavy piece, but you're gonna have um, not a whole lot of room inside. So yeah, just uh, kind of focus on that bulb down there, get it nice and thin, and uh, pull up the neck of it, once you've got that all taken care of, you can kind of focus on this upper half now, so, <coughs> This neck up, and you don't want to be going fast because if you go fast, especially throwing off the hump, you're gonna um, you're gonna get a wobble. You're gonna get off center. So just continue slowly collaring up this uh, neck of the bowl or neck of the pipe. about like this far, 
start forming the uh, mouthpiece here. I like this little um, unevenness where it meets there, but if you don't, you can just take a pin tool or X-Acto blade or whatever and just uh, cut it even. And then go back to working it. mindful of any slip on your fingers because it's going to end up inside the piece here. But yeah, so just uh, close it up into a nice comfy little place for your lips to be. That's about it. <clears throat> um, grab your metal rib that you cleaned before you started filming. percent when you fire them. Just uh, can use your rib to put some final shape into it, and then that's <laughs> that's about it. So uh, when you've got this far, wipe off your hands a little bit. Grab your wire tool. cut it off with a little bit of extra down there at the bottom um, so that I can shape that end of the pipe with a, a sure form. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like there. And then when you go to, when it's leather hard, you just, um, you just kind of go around and yourself a little spot in there, poke a hole in the side, poke a hole in the middle of that depression there, use a sure form to round off that edge and then you're done. Um, I like to give them a little whack when I set them down on the um, wear board so that, there's a, so that they'll lay flat when they're laying down. But yeah, that's kind of just that's how it goes, and you can do different shapes or whatever. That's just the normal, like you know, blown glass shape. Uh, but yeah. I've had people request these a few times, so I mean, they must be popular. Yeah, if you get in the groove of things, you know, you can make quite a lot of these off of one little hump of clay. It doesn't take a whole lot of clay to make one, so...
while you're at it, you know, you can make a couple of these. You got your mound of clay here already. Make yourself a couple of little whiskey bottle or whiskey uh, cups or other small things, you know, that don't really warrant measuring out clay. Um, sake uh, cups, shot glasses, you name it. Shot glass, you got your pipe, you got your night out on the town there. So, anyway, that's throwing off the humps. Just a quick little uh, <clears throat> demonstration there. Uh, of course, before you make anything like these, make uh, sure you check your local laws or whatever. We're here in Washington, so. Uh, for nearly a laws or anything, so, but yeah, this is a really simple form, uh, something to explore if that's something you're interested in. <laughs> 